Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my July TBR. I have one, two, three, four, five, ten. Very ambitious TBR for the month of July. But my goal is to not watch TV for the month of July. I did that for the most part in the month of June and it worked out really fine for me. So I decided you need to stop watching so much TV and you need to concentrate on reading your book. So without any further ado, let's just get started. First book is If he had been with me by Laura Nolan. This is a book that was recommended in one of the audibles and I was just like, okay, let me just listen to it. I started listening to it. I loved it. I immediately went to the store. <laughs> I picked it up the last day in June. I only have like three chapters left, but so far so good. So I figured why not pick it up since I'm loving the book and I think it's going to be a five star. I don't know. We shall see about the ending, but I heard it's heartbreaking. The next book is The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy by Megan Band. This one has been in my TBR for a while now, so I decided to pick it up. All I know is that it's a mystery, romance, maybe fantasy. I'm not sure. All I need to know is that it's fantasy and it's romance, mystery, and God only knows what else. I don't know, but I want to find out this month. The next book that I have <laughs> is Koshio's Dart by Jacqueline Carey. This is the first book in the... Uh, what's the name of this? The Pharaoh's something, uh, Koshier's Legacy. It's called the Koshier's Legacy, but I think there's another name for it. I'm not sure. But anyways, I know this is an adult fantasy and it has BDSM. That's all I needed to know. I'm just glad that I finally get to read it because these covers are just so beautiful. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then finally... I'm going to be reading the last book in the Farseer trilogy. This is the third book, Assassin's Quest by Robin Hood. I've been loving this trilogy so much. I've been giving these books five stars and I'm sure this will be no difference. I am going to be reading all the books in the uh, realm of the Elderlings, I think it's called. So these are the first three. I believe there's like 16 in totals for the whole entire saga or whatever you want to call it. But this is the third one and we follow Fitz. He's the pastor of the uh, king in waiting when he was about seven years old his grandfather just dropped him off to the king and say hey this is your bastard you take care of it so far so good i don't want to say too much this is the third book i just finished the second book this book is not going to be finished in july i do take my times with this book so it's probably going to be finished in august or maybe september i don't know i know that the second book it took me like two months because every night i will read one chapter because these are long chapters but it is so good that i do not want to miss anything so that's why i'm taking my time so i'm super excited that i finally going to get more of this and probably bittersweet because i'm really loving these characters especially the main protagonist Agonies. Oh, so this is an adult fantasy in case I didn't mention that, but yeah. Another series that I'm going to be finished is There Is No Devil. I believe the duology name is There Are No Saints. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on that, but this has to be with psychopath and serial killers, and it's so good. I don't want to spoil it. This is the second book. I'm finally going to finish it. Hopefully, there's an audiobook where I can listen to it when I get busy. Let's see what happens on the second one. Finally, I get to it. It's been on my TBR for the longest. The next book is is I believe this is a YA read. Yeah, this is a young adult because this is one of the books in Al Crape. I skipped that month, so I didn't get it. So then I was like so bad at myself. So I went to the store and I went and I picked it up. It's a YA historical fantasy romance book and it's Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I just, that's all I know and that's all I need to know. I love the cover and, you know, like I said, I love going to books not knowing much except for little things that pick my interest. And then the next three books are going to be about pirates and I'm absolutely loving this TBR so far. I have books everywhere so a whole bunch is dropped on the floor. And if you hear in the background the dogs, just ignore it. The first book is going to be the second book in the Daughter of the Pirate King duology i don't know what it's called oh we do have a map 
nice i didn't know that this is the second book i've been meaning to read it i didn't even know there was a second book until i i was on amazon and i was just like oh my god this is the second book okay so this one is daughter of the siren queen and on the first book oh my god i absolutely love the daughter of the pirate king i read it years ago and i believe i reread it recently like either may or april something like that so that's when i found out that there was a second book but all i know is that she's a pirate and there's going to be something because i know in the first book she did not know her mother i'm not making any sense i know crazy and then i have a shape of bones and teeth by karina hale and look at this cover first of all two this is a fantasy romance pirates and all that stuff magic and i absolutely love this and that's all i need to know there's some artworks in here like black and white with uh, mermaids so i guess it's going to have sirens or mermaids and look at that oh i cannot wait to dive into this book the artwork is just beautiful but so look at that i don't know if you guys can see it i hope you do but super excited this tvr is amazing and then this one is a newer release i believe i put this in my releases for april probably i'm not sure but is the wager by david grant and is a tale of shipwreck mutiny and murder that's all i need to know seriously that's all i need to know you guys i just want to read pirates give me all the pirates in my life so if you have a recommendation for any pirate books please leave them in the comment below because I need to check them out. This is all I want to read now, like pirates and mermaids and sirens. I don't know, does it have to do with like, because it's summer, I want to read that? No, I don't think so. I love pirates. Okay, and the last book on this list is Alone With You in the Ether, A Love Story by Olivia Blake. I have read another book by her, but I can remember the title right now. And all I know is that this is a love story, but it also has to do do with mental health i've been hearing nothing but good things about it and because i want to ugly cry and i heard some people that said that this will make you cry i decided to put it in my tbr and i cannot wait to read it i'm not gonna say that these are the only books in my list i'll probably will be adding more to my tbr and because the month of july no tv for me so yeah let me know if you have read any of the books but please no spoilers please and i guess i'll see you in my next video make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in the next one bye